Happy New Year, everybody. I hope everyone had a wonderful and safe holiday. In this week's video, I'm going to be showing you and vlogging through when I got my hair done before we shut down. Um, Vanessa did my hair and she's been doing my hair for a couple years now. But before we get into that, I wanted to show some old clips because I was feeling a little nostalgic. Hi guys, who's joining us tonight for the Avalons? Lauren's my model. I'm excited! So the first time that Vanessa ever did my hair was back in 2018 and this was for the Pulp Riot Roadshow. For those of you guys who don't know, the Pulp Riot Roadshow was Pulp Riot's hair show that they were supposed to take tour all over the US to different states and LA was the first stop because you know this is where most of the artists were and she needed a model for this show and I was honestly so honored to be her model this day. It was so fun. She gave me these crazy amazing horns and did the best creative color and honestly I just had a blast being a part of this opportunity. I especially love going to events like these because I always feel super inspired after seeing everyone's work and talking to everyone because it really helps to be surrounded by people who are like-minded like you are, especially as an artist because it always makes me want to go back to the salon and do more and just be super creative. And I'm super grateful for Dave and Alexis for creating Pulp Riot and opportunities and events like these. And since then, I've been Vanessa's hair model and we've done so many different colors over the years. Like, I can't even keep track. I'm sure there's so many colors that I can't even remember that we've probably done. And I always love my hair afterwards. I feel like every color, I'm always like, this is the best color she's ever done. <laughs> And um, I just wanted to share some old clips of some amazing colors that she's done. I really love that we both kind of work together. I kind of show her what my inspo is and she kind of puts her own twist to it. And we just have so much fun. And I always love different colors in my hair. We always try something new each time. And yeah. I'm just really grateful. I mean, Vanessa is just a super inspiring artist. She was at Butterfly before me and I really looked up to her when I was assisting and I still do now. She's taught me a lot. I always have questions and I always go to her for anything and she's got pretty much every answer for me every time I ask her a question. She knows a lot and I've learned a ton from her. She is super hardworking and super creative and genuine and goofy and it's just such a pleasure to work with her at work and see her grow as an artist and be super hungry as a hairdresser and I feel like that is such a rare quality to find in someone to have all of those qualities. So I'm just really grateful that I have co-worker like Vanessa because I've just learned so much and I will continue to learn more and grow more with her and it's just amazing because Pulp Riot has brought so many opportunities for us both and it's amazing to work on so many different projects and continue to be inspired and learn so much from each other so I am super grateful to have her in my life and yeah I think I will stop bragging about how great my hairdresser is so <laughs> let's get into my hair vlog alrighty so here is my before and my roots are super grown out but we're not gonna be relightening any of my hair uh, we're just gonna be putting some pulp right overlay and then moving up my extensions I kind of want to give my hair a break from any lightening because I've been blonde for a really long time so I kind of want to go back to my natural color. And here Vanessa already took out my extensions and put in my beads to get ready for my wefts. 
and she usually just sews in the weft to these beads. And then before we add the color, she already sectioned up my hair. So the hairline is going to be pretty much a rainbow baby light. And then the top part will be noir. And then the underneath will have some rainbow panels. And then here is the fun part, which is mixing up all the colors. We created this amazing color ball art here. And... Um, Vanessa had total freedom to mix up her rainbow shades. We opted to do more of a brighter rainbow for this color just because we were going to be using Noir as like the top layer of my hair. So I wanted it to kind of match and fade relatively around the same time. Um, so each rainbow shade was a custom mix for each color. So none of the colors were straight from the tube. She definitely mixed all of them with some other color to create a different tone for all of the rainbow shades, which was super fun. So when Vanessa started my color, she started to rainbow baby light the front hairline with no negative space in between. And then for the back section here, um, starting from where my extensions are, that's where the rainbow panels were going to be and then that top clipped part was going to be just noir straight just to kind of blend in with my natural root. And then once Vanessa got to the back, she rooted my extensions with Noir so that they could blend in with my natural a little bit. And then she began painting her rainbow panels on the underneath there. So after Vanessa was done applying the rainbow panels in the back, she started to apply Noir just straight onto the top clip section. And I never put noir in my hair ever and if you guys don't know noir is the black from the pulpright semis and it is more so blue base but when it faded as i'm washing my hair now um, the color is fading a bit more purpley but i really love the fade of it it's kind of lasted a really long time which i would expect because it's such a dark color but I was honestly really excited because it was probably like the only color from the semi line that I haven't put in my hair yet. <laughs> and there you can see because we were the only ones in the salon this day because she was just using me for a video shoot. Um, we put on some music and had our own little dance potty hair potty. So when Vanessa started rinsing out my color, she had to be super careful. So. We just rinsed out the top part first that had the noir and left out all the rainbow. Um, she rinsed it with cold water and then shampooed um, the color out to get most of the color out to make sure it wouldn't bleed. And then once that was done, um, I'm pretty sure we clipped it up and then started rinsing the rest of the rainbow on my hair with ice cold water. We did not shampoo the rest of the hair, only on that top part um, and we just rinsed it. And the awesome thing about the Pulp Riot semis is even though those rainbow um, colors were pretty bright, you can see the water is rinsing fairly clear. So whenever you use the Pulp Riot semis, you pretty much don't have to worry about the colors bleeding too much. Um, the only color I would probably worry about is Noir uh, and maybe Velvet. But other than that, I feel like most of the colors, they pretty much don't bleed and is really great for that when doing rainbow colors like these you don't have to worry about the colors transferring onto each other alrighty guys so this is what my hair looked like right after she blow dried it and I was so obsessed with this color I loved how the rainbow was really bright but didn't look too overpowering because we put Noir on the top and I love that we kind of went with that chunky money piece trend that's been going on as well and 
then by now my hair has faded a ton it's not nearly as bright as it was when we first did it but the fade with this color literally got better with each wash i feel like rainbow colors always fade really really pretty because you see like the pastel tones of all of the rainbow colors together and it just looks more holographic as it fades too and with the noir um, i would say that it faded to a pretty nice purple at this point um, this is probably like a month and a half after i got it done and it just still is pretty pigmented and I just love it. The Noir did kind of bleed onto my rainbow a bit and washed out most of the rainbow on the underneath, but when it did fade, I feel like it kind of just made it more ashy and muted the rainbow on the bottom because it's more blue based, so it made a lot of the colors really smoky, which was really pretty too because it faded pretty gray in some areas. And yeah, I really can't complain. This is probably one of my favorite hair colors that she's ever done, even though I say that every time, but literally every color she does gets better and better with time. So I was just super obsessed with it and I'm still obsessed with it. I wish I could redo this again. I probably will when salons open back up, but yeah, let me know what you guys think and if you like this one. And as always, thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will talk to you guys next week.